Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this week's artist spotlight is none other than Andy Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy is a British sculptor, photographer, and environmentalist who produces site-specific sculptures and land art situated in natural and urban settings. He lives and works in Scotland. Here he is on top of an installation he did at the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. The work was entitled Roof. Goldsworthy's work has a focus of using natural materials. For much of his work, he only uses what he can find. For tools, he only uses his bare hands, his teeth, and simple tools that he can fashion out of rocks and other materials that he has gathered. With this focus on nature, he leaves many of his creations for nature to take its course, meaning the sculptures themselves are temporary. It is for this reason that Goldsworthy considers himself as much a photographer as he is any kind of sculptor. He needs the photos to share his work, or else most people would never be able to see them. These photos are then sometimes exhibited, sometimes they are put in books, sometimes they're part of movies, and sometimes they're just sold in a limited number of copies. Much of his work is the result of careful collection of materials and arrangement. His work is not only temporary, but it is often incredibly fragile. Some of his attempts at creating a work were unsuccessful because it all fell apart before he could get a picture of it. Though there are pieces he makes in a very different way. Here's a series he has done for years where he simply lays down at the beginning of a rainfall and then gets up when it's over. Occasionally, Goldsworthy would create work in populated areas, but would still use natural materials that he could find in the area. The piece on the left is using simply water he got out of the gutter. I can't quite tell if it's frozen in that piece, um, but knowing how often he does work with ice, that would not surprise me. And then on the right are petals from poppy flowers that he found in the area. Here are just some works that I really like that I wanted to share. This one in particular is one I always think about. Uh, this piece is made from sticks and spider webs. So he, he would use the spider webs as kind of string to attach these parts together. And it was so fine of a, like, I don't know, what do you call it? Webbing, string, uh, whatever, that this piece looks like it floats. If you want to learn more about the work of Andy Goldsworthy, there are two films made about different points of his career. Rivers and Tides is a good representation of his varied approaches to his work, and Leaning into the Wind is an interesting look at an accomplished artist still looking for new challenges and ways to grow. Rivers and Tides, I believe, is currently available through Amazon Prime if you have a subscription there, and Leaning into the Wind is currently available on Hulu if you have a subscription there. I recommend checking out his work. If nothing else, just Googling his name and seeing other works that you can find. I certainly could not include everything here. And that is Andy Goldsworthy.